Well, howdy do, I'm Tom the Bear Whisper, and I'm here at the home of Mike and Patty Rice here in St. Louis, and Mike had some great beers. I should have done a video for the first one, but I didn't, because we were too busy bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the, uh, the, um... Murfreesboro Backwoods Ale. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit, uh... Monster. Backwoods Monster. 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 Backwoods Monster, From, yeah. what's the brewery? From Murfreesboro. Yeah, from Murfreesboro. Uh, what's the brewery? Gosh, I went brain dead all of a sudden. We'll, I had we'll it find here. out before Son the end of, of the video. See, see, this isn't our first beer, obviously. Or we'll I would find have out before different. the end of the video. I've done several videos for him, and now I just went completely brain dead. So anyway, <laughs> we drank that one uh, that he had. Then I had the IPA in there that we tried. That was very good. We kind of we're going back and forth. Now we're back to Imperial Stout again with the Danish Metal <laughs> Imperial Stout from Amateur. It's ten percent. They don't mention the IBUs. I'm not where I'm gonna bother looking. To... Big muddy, big muddy. Why can we not remember that? Man, I don't know. Let me we're show right you by the, the big muddy. We're here in St. Louis. What the hell? Anyways, uh, ten percent uh, Imperial Brown Ale aged and bourbon barrel barrels. Say that ten times fast, especially after we, you know. Anyways, you know. Uh, we've had three beers here and a little whiskey, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, anyway, what I get most from that is I feel a lot of the bourbon barrel in that brown ale. The body isn't as heavy as you might think. I would I would call it somewhere between medium to heavy, but it's, it's certainly like not you heavy. Took a nice sip of a really good bourbon. It's the it aftertaste. Is actually, the there aftertaste. Is, it, it is oakier than you'd expect it yeah. to be. It's very oaky. Yep. You get a lot of uh, notes of vanilla. It's just beautiful. And uh, then, like I said, then we had an IPA we, and we had some whiskey. And now we're having this one Danish Metal Imperial Stout. Let me get that bottle where you can see it. As you can see, there's some sediment in there. I thought it might have just been from the end of the bottle, but you got some in your glass too. Yes, there is. So this is basically the same. They call it an imperial stout with a Belgian twist. So what I'm guessing is that, without having access to look everything up at the moment, is that they're using a Belgian yeast strain because that's how it feels like, right? It, it does. It, you've got that Belgian the finish, finish, right? The finish is yeah. a blonde Belgian ale. It really it is. It finishes a lot like a Belgian blonde. It's all floral. Yeah. Uh, and, and very dry right at the end, which right. is not what you expect. A uh, is that our wife's back? I heard a car come in and shut off. That was <laughs> probably just a train, Tom. Let's hope not. Anyway, <laughs> we're right next to the BNSF switchyard. Life of living next to the trains. Anyway, I lost my train of thought there, but anyway, but yeah, it finishes a lot like a Belgian blonde. It's not what you expect an imperial stout to do, but the but it starts like an imperial stout. You get a lot of notes of uh, cocoa, vanilla up front, right? Definitely. But the as I'm drinking it, I'm feeling some brown sugar as well, like uh, like a little molasses. I got the molasses like the big molasses, time. Yeah. Not even brown sugar, just molasses. You know, just that total molasses. Molasses, sure enough. It's not bitter. You can turn but this it, but beer enough, over, but enough to make it clean at the end. Yeah, you can turn this beer over into a glass, and you probably won't get quarter inch of suds yeah you no, know it's I, I poured it fairly aggressive and we didn't get a lot of head on it no not uh, at all but it's there is some carbonation working so i know it's not dead no. uh, either way i'm also getting some toffee you feeling any toffee most definitely caramel toffee yeah. very nice anyway uh mike you want to go on camera you want to stay you want to sure. be a voice uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to try to flip Make sure the camera you get around. Daisy right here, old, old girl Daisy right there. I can't How we see doing, folks? Shot there? Welcome to the Rice household. This is our little uh, home away from home. Nope, it's our home. <laughs> we're not away. We're <laughs> only like away here. It's like a home away from up, home. Up here we're away, uh, but It's like we're in a dead end street, and we love it. Our house was built in 1892. And, here we go. There's a uh, dog. Glad to have Tom and Allie here. We're going to have a good dinner tonight, and... I thought, think I bought some good beer, so uh, you maybe, some, maybe Tom will do another video I'm gonna or two. flip around here, but I'm oh, you brought some now. amazing beers. So I didn't do a video for the first one because we were just bullshitting, and again, I didn't want to stop and be rude and do a video. There I wanted, it is. I mostly wanted to talk. 
You must but, try it. <laughs> but we are going to, yeah, both are a definite buy again. I would really seek this one out, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. When you think of the oak bourbon barrel aged beers, you don't think of an Imperial Brown Ale. You think of like a Yeah, what a I really liked beer. about it's it was very uh, good. how much bourbon you did feel. Yeah, it was awesome. It was, it was, like, oh, it was beautiful. It's like so, you took a sip of the most mellow again. bourbon you've ever had. Maybe that's exactly what it's like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm Tom the Beer Whisperer with my buddy Mike Rice, and we'll talk to you later.